Okay, so angles according to quadrant. So on quadrant 1, that's between 0 and 90 degrees. On quadrant 2, that's between 90 and 180 degrees. On quadrant 3, it's between 180 and 270 degrees. Then on quadrant 4, that's between 270 and 360 degrees. And this uh, 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360 degrees are the quadrantal angle. Then to identify at what quadrant the terminal side of the given angle lie, so we have this given angle, the 670 degrees. So first, we need to get the smallest positive coterminal of this angle. Now, coterminal angles are angles with the same terminal side. So to get the coterminal of this angle, divide this one by 360, that's 1.86. Then take this uh, whole number. Then multiply it by 360, and that's 360. Then from the given angle, minus 360, that's 310 degrees. So this 310 degrees is the coterminal of this 670 degrees. Then since 310 is at quadrant 4, so therefore the terminal side of this given angle is at quadrant 4. Then for this given angle, so divide this one by 360, that's 4.04, .04. then take this whole number, then multiply it by 360, that's 1440, then from the given angle, minus this 1440, it's 15 degrees. So this 15 degrees is the coterminal of this angle. Now, since 15 is at quadrant 1, so therefore, the terminal side of this given angle is at quadrant 1. Then, for this negative angle, so divide this one by 360, that's 7.41. Since we need to get the positive coterminal of this angle, so we need to add 1, and that's 8. Then, multiply this one by 360, and that's 2,280. Then this 2,280 minus 2,670 and that's 210 degrees. So this 210 degrees is the positive coterminal of this negative 2,670. Then since 210 is at quadrant 3, so therefore the terminal side of this given angle is at quadrant 3. Then for this angle in radians, so we need to convert this one first to degrees. Now since pi is equal to 180 degrees, so that's 51 times 180 divided by 5. So we have now 1,836 degrees. Then find the coterminal of this angle in degrees, so divide by 360. 5.1, take this whole number, that's 5. Then times 360, that's 1,800. Then from this angle in degrees, then minus 1,800, and that's 36. Since 36 is at quadrant 1, so therefore the terminal side of this given angle is at quadrant 1.